Welcome to Throwdown Thursday. Okay, what are we talking about today? How to fit PNY into your day. What better to do that than a true PNY foodie herself, the creator of Paleo Num Yums. So, how do you fit PNY into your food? Okay, so what we are, we're a meal prep company, um, but you know we like teaching you and we know, you know we want you to be able to make informed decisions about your food on your own without the help of us or with the help of us. But I'm gonna kinda show you. I'm gonna actually answer two questions. One, how do you make PNY work for you? Two, what do you do to lose weight or feel better? Okay, so I'm gonna answer the second question first. What do you do to lose weight or feel better? You eat. Honestly, you eat. So what I've done is I'm gonna give you an example of the food that I eat throughout the day. And if you notice, not all of it is PNY. I get it, people. I am as foody as they come. I love my snacks. I love my food. I love it all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you basically a typical day for me. Now, I understand I'll kind of hit on some hot points as we go through this. You know, if you go out to lunch unexpectedly or if you go out to dinner unexpectedly, there's all kinds of things that'll happen. So this is kind of the way my, my day is planned out. I have my staple meals that I always get from Paleo Num Yums, always. Those don't change. I change everything else around those meals. I track my macros and I carb cycle. If you don't know what any of that means, don't worry. I know what it means. I'm doing it for me. It's working for me. It's my life, my food. But I'm just kind of giving you some ideas. So I start off with breakfast. A lot of the times I will eat a PNY breakfast. My favorite is our breakfast bowl. Um, it's made with bacon. Enough said, although I do like our breakfast sandwiches. Um, sometimes I will have egg whites and bacon all wrapped together. Lots of different things that I have for breakfast, but that always gets me started. Um, another thing that I do is I like to incorporate fruit, um, bananas, apples, anything like that. Um, those will be my little snacks in between meals, depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing. I also keep things that are snack friendly that are also heat friendly. People, we live in Georgia, it gets hot. And this stuff usually stays in my purse and or in my car. So I need stuff that's not gonna melt, um, which keeps chocolate out of my purse because it's not gonna last. So there's, um, th there's a little hack, life hack for you there. Don't keep chocolate in your purse in Georgia because it melts anyway. Keep it in your freezer, it's harder to get um, and you won't eat as much. Um, Chicken salad salad is one of my favorite. One of the salads, especially in the summertime, I will change up my normal meal for a salad. Um, I love our chicken salad. It's paired with fruit. It comes with balsamic dressing. The whole thing is phenomenal. That's what I love. Um, I may go on to a Lara bar. Um, super, super, super simple. Super, um, they are made from dates. Um, there's not a whole lot to them, um, but they're quick. They're delicious, they're really nutritious, and they hit the spot, um, especially if I'm on the go and maybe I don't have a meal or I'm not ready for another meal, but it's time for a little snack. I love my Lara bars. Um, the four ounce meals, I usually have some type of complex carb, some type of meat, some type of veggie, and a sauce. Um, super easy to heat up, um, even on the go. A lot of times if I have a meeting or I'm on the go, I'll heat it up, take a fork, and I eat this in my car. Um, nuts, everybody likes these nuts. But I also put some other things. These, this has pumpkin seeds. This does have some chocolate in it, but it's okay. Sometimes it does get a little melty in the car. Um, I usually keep a bag of this in my purse, which is with me at all times. Um, dried strawberries, walnuts, um, strawberry um, flavored cranberries, banana chips. These are fatty and they are have they do have carbs in them, um, but it is a great quick snack, very nutritious, hits all your hot points, um, fills you up. You don't need a whole lot. I believe a serving is a quarter of a cup. So that is a really healthy little handful. Um, and then it really just kind of gets me on to my next meal. The next meal is typically something really simple. If I don't have a paleo dinner, um, with my kids, or we even may do a cauliflower crust. I always have something super quick in my fridge. Um, I will travel with all of this when I leave my house because this is me 
while I'm traveling and working and going to meetings, this is me at home. So I either have, like I said, I either have a paleo dinner, um, cauliflower crust pizza, my kids make their own pizza. Um, we have Taco Tuesday, so I get taco meat from here. Dinner is, is either with, a fam with the family and I'm either eating this with my husband and they have something like pizza or I will indulge in a cauliflower crust pizza or Taco Tuesday. I do love me some nachos. Um, so that is my dinner. And yes, um, I do eat all of this food in one day. So if you're looking and going, wow, that is a lot of food, you're probably not eating enough food, which by the way, we're gonna, we're gonna get to that on another episode. Um, eating enough. Um, that's probably the biggest problem as far as people when they come to me is not actually eating too much. It's not eating enough and when you do eat it's of the wrong stuff. So, you know, we love to plan here at Paleo Num Yums and our job is to help you plan and this is how I plan. If you have questions, you want to know how to get on track, you want some tips for what you can do for your day, give us a call at the store. Other than that, have a fabulous day. Goodbye.